the program here at Oskayak High School is one that is a culturally responsive program. We infuse culture throughout our entire curriculum, throughout the environment here, and through really anything we can get our hands on. It's been a program though that's been in the making since the early 80s. So it's it's not new to us that are in mm-hmm. the current current building. It's been something that's been carried on for quite some time and the intention is to continue the the program. From your perspective, what what is indigenous education? Um education has traditionally followed a teach first then student model, which we can all agree has not proven very effective. Educators are constantly seeking ways to better engage their students. Pedagogy such as inquiry, problem and project-based learning have been slowly increasing in popularity and have proved to be more inclusive. Additionally, more and more schools are implementing relational teachings such as following their voices. Not only are these ways to engage learners, they are also ways that naturally indigenize education. Indigenous education is one that, as Verna Kirkness would say, respects who people are, that is relevant to their world view, that gives them responsibility over their own lives, and gives them re- reciprocity in their relationship with others. Unlike the teacher first, then student model, it is a holistic approach which benefits all learners, not just Indigenous students. Ministries of education, school divisions, schools and teachers themselves are actively creating awareness, initiating and holding accountable the indigenization of curriculum. This may be through board action plans, school learning improvement plans, and professional growth plans, or by investing in division FNMI teams to lead professional development focused on indigenizing curriculum. By encouraging teachers to infuse Indigenous knowledge and ways of knowing throughout all elements of their classroom, be it content or environment. Oh, let's not forget the increasing number of Indigenous representation and voice within our colonial structures, especially that of the elders. The interconnectedness has been nurtured and is growing throughout all aspects of education. This inevitably lends to an inclusive environment where all people feel safe to be themselves and learn in a way that reflects who they are as individuals. When the history of Indigenous people is taught truthfully and consistently throughout all content areas, it leaves Indigenous people with a sense of pride. In turn, it leaves others with an accurate information that will aid in forging new relationships where all learners can thrive. We have much more growing and reconciling to do, which will take time, but we are headed in the right direction. I look forward to the next decade of Indigenous education.